In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit and set your destinations using B.Live so that you can make money when you're live streaming and who knows, maybe end up richer than Don Johnson in the 80s. So here we are in our tester studio, so we've got complete control. We can add anything that we want uh, and we started it off with just on the basic offline recording. So if you don't know, we can actually just record using BeLive so we can use all that functionality and just actually pre-record uh, all sorts of video, which is a fantastic thing to do. Now, let's go in and look at our create a new stream. And here we have our options. So we have Amazon, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, custom RTMP. Uh, so we'll have a look at all these. So. We go into Amazon first of all, it's gonna come up with your Amazon URL server, that's good. We need to add in our stream key and then our broadcast key. So our stream key, I'm just gonna go grab mine. Uh, now obviously I'm not gonna let you see this, <laughs> otherwise you might, uh, you can use my stream key. And then also we want to add our broadcast URL. So if you go into your Amazon, your Amazon scheduled stream, then share the link to your Mac or your PC. Uh, I just do mine over wireless, uh, and that way I have it in a separate tab. So as you can see, I've now got a separate tab here. This is what I want. This is my separate, my URL. So this allows us to share the comments of people asking questions and making comments on Amazon. And indeed, this allows us to have that amazing follower uh, notification uh, that comes up on screen when an Amazon follower follows us. So we paste our broadcast URL in there. I always save that now just to be on the safe side. And of course that broadcast URL will change every time you do a new broadcast. That will be a new uh, URL that will allow us to bring in not just the product carousel on Amazon, but also, as I said, be able to share the comments and share the followers when they come and join as well. So next up, we want to add in, let's go YouTube. So I'm already preset with YouTube, we've got public. Uh, this is where we can put our stream titles in as well. So I'm just gonna quickly pop mine in. And then with our stream description, because this is gonna go directly to YouTube, Facebook, everything, I'm just gonna paste mine in there. So I've got join the fun uh, and discounts on Amazon Live. I put in my HTTP nickwood.live uh, URL. That's gonna allow people watching on social media to click that and then go over uh, into my Amazon. Um, so we say, uh, saying I'm getting commissions through these links. So we have full disclosure um, on my storefront. You can find all my favorite tools. Some may include affiliate links as well. So I'm double, basically double counting there. I wanna make sure that everyone knows, hashtag commission earned. So <laughs> with any luck, if you were ever in any <laughs> in any confusion, anyone that's watching me on social media knows that I'm commission earned, so I'm covering all my uh, all my boxes there, ticking all my boxes, um, and then so I got uh, tech and gifts for Christmas as the title. Save that, and we're good. So we got Amazon, we got YouTube, we go again. We can put five different locations on here. So we got Amazon, we got YouTube. Just press another button. Let's put Facebook on. Um, you got your own timeline, or indeed any page that you manage, uh, you can actually live stream there as well. Um, I've got to, I've got to get Nick Steels. Let's put that on there. That's good. And as you can see, because we've put in the titles already, they stay the same. Let's then add in. We've got this LinkedIn. Put LinkedIn there as well. Same thing. Bang, boom. You're good to go. Press the save button, and we're good. Now, what you can do is uh, you can't schedule to LinkedIn and Amazon, but uh, we can actually do it uh, to YouTube and Facebook. So we go schedule stream. This allows us to put in our time. So my time is uh, 4 p.m. tomorrow. So that's 4 p.m. there. Scroll through, don't forget, not a.m., p.m. So scroll all the way through. I've done that many times. So we just scroll through here. There we go, 4 p.m. That's done. And it says you can't schedule for Amazon. That's okay, we're not good that way. Uh, put it there. Um, yeah, so what we can do is we can now upload our thumbnail. So you can either create a thumbnail in BeLive 
uh, which is fine. Or if you've got one that you've done already, uh, I've got one here somewhere. My thumbnail's here, I know it's that one there. Perfect, there we go. Or we could create, as I said, or we could create one here and that will we do that through BeLive, really quick, really simple. In fact, should we just show you how we do that? So we've got the picture of me, we can do different things. We can choose geometric style. We've got backgrounds, uh, we can just upload profile pictures. Um, we can add time and date, add a broadcast title. So we can do all that on the graphic generator. So if you're in a rush, perfect. And you can then download what you've what you've created as well. As I'd already created my, uh, my thumbnail, I'll keep that one. Everything's good to go. And again, just press save. And this time it will actually schedule on YouTube and on Facebook. Now, Facebook will send you a reminder and you need to go live within, I think it's uh, 10 minutes. It's either between five or 10 minutes after your scheduled time. Uh, otherwise, Facebook will just bin um, your your live stream. Uh, but YouTube will wait for you. Same as Amazon, will wait for you. LinkedIn, of course, we can't schedule it. Um, so that will just wait for you as well. So even though we've scheduled it in our Amazon uh, app, uh, don't worry, Amazon won't go live until you press uh, that button. And that is all there is to it. The next thing you do is when you're ready, you've got scheduled, you press the start button, hit countdown and go live. Um, of course, you want to put on some other elements as well. So we want some overlays, some backgrounds, some logos, some cameras. And in the next video, that's exactly uh, what we will cover overlays how we get them, how we make them transparent using a paid version of Canva. But if you don't have the paid version of Canva, not a problem. I've got a sneaky tip that can help you do that anyway. So please do like, comment, subscribe for more tips, more videos coming, talking and teaching about B.Live and of course, Logie. Thank <laughs> you.